Good evening, everyone. I've been warned to restrict myself to five minutes, and, and uh, let me assure you that I can't speak more than that. <laughs> Fungal infections have shown a remarkable resilience in the past few years. They become very virulent. They not respond to conventional antifungal therapy. They present bizarre pictures and are also seen affecting unusual sites. Okay. What is seen two different uh, presentations of fungal infection seen in my clinic. First slide, please. Last slide. This is a Mildes man who saw me sometime ago, about a month ago, with uh, patients like this. You see, Nina is scaling and uh, itching. In this totem, you find that uh, the lesions in the groin are not there. So I just asked him to turn around and I saw this. So this is the batch of fungal infection affecting the entire back. And this gentleman had applied a steroid and an antifungal for about a couple of months. And this is what happens when you apply. Skin is uh, subjected to a steroid. The fungus will spread to sites other than the areas which were affected first. Although the earlier involved uh, area will respond with reduction in the inflammation and the redness as well as the uh, itching. Now, this is a young girl who came with a small patch. You can see a small patch here. She was very much concerned about this patch. And uh, when we see patches like this on the upper eyelid, dermatologists always look for the nails because uh, most of these women apply nail varnish. And the nail varnish allergy is manifest only in the upper eyelid. And uh, she has never in her life applied nail varnish. And we also looked for seboric dermatitis of the scalp. She didn't have any. Then I asked her to lift her hand and this won't form. This is the huge patch of fungus. We can see the raised border and we can also see the inflammation. So she had applied a steroid cream on the upper eyelid and the lesion in the upper eyelid had subsided, but the lesion spread elsewhere. So the take home message is that when a patient comes to the dermatologist, he has to examine the entire two square meters of skin. This is what my Manasiga Guru, Walter B. Shelley says in his book. Never stop with the area that is shown to you. Examine the whole uh, two square meters of skin, and we can pick up some surprises. Thank you very much. In practice, uh, we find uh, ointments which are a combination of both antifungal plus steroid. Yes, sir. Is it uh, rational or is it otherwise? Why is it? Uh, no, it's absolutely it? irrational, sir. But why are they being marketed? Uh, sir, uh, they are marketed because the symptomatic relief is there. So the patients are too happy to apply a steroid and antifungal because the symptoms get relieved very fast. But they don't realize that under cover of the steroid, the fungus will spread. So these uh, three, two in one, three in one, four in one, we have five in one combinations also. The steroid, antifungal, venidochlor, and so on and so forth. The IADVL, our uh, dermatology association, has repeatedly requested the pharma companies to stop manufacturing this and to stop promoting, but uh, to no avail. Um, three and a half decades ago, when Dr. Padma Chansa was staying with the MRC OG in London, I had the privilege to attend the meeting, and the president said the following When a case is referred to you, make a diagnosis. Write down the points carrying the diagnosis. Write down the points not carrying the diagnosis. And also give a diagnosis. 
is that way thinking. Now two people have talked the same thing today. First Saturday, do examine fully. He is saying do examine fully. This has to be repeated again and again. Because today one of the medical officers missed a fracture neck of him. Because he just did not move the side. That's all. As he moved the side, he could have met the diagnosis. There's nothing very great about it. We are not more intelligent than the Sensors are more intelligent than this. So now I request Dr. Chandrasekhar to handle the second of this session. So Dr. D. Sikhas.